Hi everybody, this is Donnie. Welcome back to my channel. If you're new, I welcome you too. I hope y'all are having a wonderful week. The weather today, uh, as I'm doing the voiceover, is sunny and warm and beautiful. Um, I hope that as the week goes by that y'all are all doing well weather-wise. Um, it looks like we've got some rocky weather <laughs> this spring and I hope everybody's safe. We are praying for that anyway. I'm going to be using a kit today, another digital kit. This one is from Design Sticker Store and it's called Love Plants. I'm pairing it with the most gorgeous Simply Gilded Washi. A bunch of foiled stickers and some pretty pin gems, some clips, just, you know, all the planner pretties, all the things we love to use in our planners. Again, this week I'm in my Ara Estelle A5 Wide Cloud Planner. And I hope you are going to enjoy this. This is a cute kit. It is not foiled, so I'll be adding a bunch of overlays and pretty stuff, as you can see to the side. As I use it, I'll mention what it is and where it's from. As you can see, I've picked out three pin gems. I just couldn't figure out which one I was going to use as usual, so I like choices. The bow clip is from Three Glitter Peas, and the dangle clip was from Hearts by Emma, I believe. I'll set the pin gems aside and decide at the end which one I think goes best with the kit. Like I said, I pulled out a whole bunch of foil pieces, extras to add to it. I'll set those aside and let's have a look at the washi tape. Again, this is all from Simply Gilded and it's gorgeous. I really think every time she comes out with a new tape that I have to say how gorgeous and it's my favorite and all that. But that little striped one there is a very old one. I located it by accident in one of my drawers and was excited I found it because it is every single color that's in the kit. It was perfect. The kit is made up of succulents, no floral, just the plants, the green leaves. And I'm surprised I bought it. I thought it was cute though because of those colors right there. I liked the green, which is usually not my favorite color, but this time I liked it so much that I decided to use it as soon as I bought it. I print and cut it. It was adorable and I'm glad I did. It, it turned out really cute. I'm gonna speed things up and we're gonna get started on the layout. Now I haven't mentioned this in probably a month, maybe a little bit more, but I'm still working on letting my fingernails grow out. And those of you who have watched my videos um, previously know that I usually put an acrylic or a, it's a medley of acrylic and what is that other gel, I think, formula stuff that I have done my nails with for probably the last year or so. Um, back when the pandemic all started, I decided to take everything off and let my nails grow out naturally. So that's why you don't see any polish in long fingernails. I'm using some day of the week headers. I never do know what to call those. They're from Paper Crown Planner. I, they, they are my go-to. If you are a digital lover like I am, uh, you may want to invest in those because those little paint swatch things that I just love, uh, they come in every color you could ever want all different shades of every color and once you you kind of get those print out and foiled you'll always have something to go to and I find that to be a staple in my digital arsenal so I'm going to lay those down and pull out some date dots I don't know where either one of these are from I looked and looked I think the date dots on this one are from planning Chaco the ones that I chose to use um, that's what I wrote down at the time, so I think that's where they're from. If I'm wrong, I apologize, and please somebody tell me, and I'll give credit where credit is due. So after I get those laid down, I, um, I'm going to wait. At the bottom washi, you see that little tiny strip at the top of it. I do choose, finally, a tape, a washi tape, a thin one to put down on the bottom. I could not decide what color, though. And I'm trying to come up with a medley of different headers to use too. 
Y'all know I have a problem choosing. I have a problem picking, but I like choices. Sometimes I try to narrow myself down, but today I did not. I, I think I'm going to go with the green and one of the pinks and one of that creamy yellow. And maybe on that green, since it's a glitter header, I will put an overlay on top of that. What I wanted to do was to make sure, I love that tape. It was perfect for this kit. I contemplated as I laid this down, I wanted to see what it looked like on the paper. The colors really started to show well on the paper, but I decided not to like trim it in half. I was really thinking about that. And I, I think if I had had more confidence in the way I can cut, I would do so, but I decided not to. So I'd choose a different one. And by the way, the colors that are in this, somebody had asked me if there was a peach. Um, I hope I understood your question correctly. The, the one that I'm showing now in the middle there is a pink that she has it listed on her site as rose, I think, with rose, maybe tone, I can't recall. But it's one of the new, newer releases from May. And um, I think I got that right. I'm not 100% though, but they are like the tone on tone group. Um, I, I cannot recall the exact name of it, but it is a pink. It is not a peach color, although it lends itself toward, toward it. With, I noticed with some of the peachy pinks, that's a better way to describe it, peachy pink. So I'm adding those stripes, the old version of the stripes. I assume that's an old version of tape. Um, it was like toward the back of one of my drawers and uh, I did not use it very often. I probably had to open that up to use it. Um, maybe I've used it once before and just can't remember, but uh, it was awesome. Just perfect with this kit. Those colors were exact matches. So I was thrilled to death to use that. I'm looking for some strips or something. I chose, <laughs> as you can see, I chose to use the checklist. I had to think of the word. The checklist that came with the kit, um, because I wasn't going to use those as checklists, I decided to make it into a banner and use it as part of the weekend banner. I have pulled a lot of the gold Oh, by the way, this is all in gold foil. If I have not mentioned that, I don't think I did. But um, the gold foiled white with the confetti and the solids and um, it's all gold. That's easier to say it that way. I felt kind of bereft this, this week when I was doing this spread because I really kept thinking I need purple. And because of those four colors being pastels, purple would be the next additional color I would want to add, but it just would not go with this kit. That new Periwinkle Simply Gilded Washi Tape with the three layers on it of hearts and bows, I, I kept picking it up thinking, well, I'm going to use that next. I just have to use that purple. There is no purple in this kit, <laughs> so I did not use that. I had to keep pulling in a green, though. And so that, that stretched my comfort there. I think I get in a rut, and I, I like my rut. I don't want to get out of my rut, but I used green so that, and yellow too. That kind of helped me move a little bit out of the rut. That would be a good question, actually. Let me ask y'all, do you find yourself in a rut decoration-wise or color-wise or however you want to, think about the question, do you find yourself planner related in a rut? I do. I get in, I want pinks and purples, or I want gold, or I want hollow tape. And I find myself week after week tending toward those favorites that I love. So I find myself in a rut and it's hard for me to push myself out of it and get outside my comfort zone and work with a color or something that I don't really admire or love. Um, I find that when I do so, however, I enjoy it. It's kind of fun to make myself use something I would not ordinarily choose. So what do y'all find your style? Do y'all do y'all find that you do that? Or do you not have a problem with 
you know, anything anybody sends you, you'll just use it because it's there. I, I've always had a thing with color. I've, as a child, was asked to pick a color that would be, quote, my favorite color. Well, unfortunately, I have a sister who um, was eight months younger than I was. I was adopted. Uh, she chose blue before I got there. <laughs> she got to pick first. Uh, the natural child, of course, gets to always pick first. And so she got to pick the blue. And so I, I was stuck because there was only three other colors in the set of cups my mother was trying to get me to choose. Uh, I had to choose the red. That was the, the next color that I liked. The other two colors, I think, were brown and yellow. <laughs> so, of course, I wouldn't have picked either of those. Ultimately, as a kid, I remember I liked, uh, because of the, the years I was a child in the uh, late 60s and 70s up to about 82, I graduated from high school, uh, orange and avocado green and harvest green gold were the colors of decor in houses and so were owls and mushrooms and I did not go for any of that I was kind of forced into some of those colors as a kid because that's what my mother chose for me but as I got my own home and uh, was married had my children and all I chose blue <laughs> so there was not a lot of red in my life um, after that so, and it was, it went into my clothing. It went into every article, bedding, the whole thing. You know how that goes. Anyway, I remember a friend of mine in our neighborhood had her bedroom done in purple, purple walls. Uh, it was like, mom, do you think you could go be friends with her mom and go look at her room? She has purple everything a canopy bed that was purple it was gorgeous and my mom was like oh no oh no you're not painting your walls well guess what happened a couple of years later as I got older and was about to graduate from high school my mother let my brother paint a wall black 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 it was like thanks <laughs> I just wanted light purple I liked purple quite a bit, but I didn't get a whole lot of purple. So as I had my own home, I got to do things my way. And I really went outside the range of what she always felt was appropriate for a house to have. Because I liked pink. I liked purple. And she did not, obviously. <laughs> okay, I'm going to work on the rest of the sidebar. There was a sticker that I chose to put at the very bottom and I'm, I'm, I should just bring my planner over here as I do a voiceover, but uh, I did not. And so, yes, I'm thinking of the previous video, of course. Instead, let's just pretend I didn't say that. I am putting a washi banner at the bottom of this section. So I'm going to open up all the other washi tapes I haven't used yet and pull out some of those colors there. I was trying to get that one straight. I do remember now that I could not lay that straight the first time. And this is the last time you're going to see that little ruler. Uh, as much as I love it, I bought some things from Erin Condren. And yes, I'm not using, yes, I'm not using, no, I'm not using an Erin Condren planner. I did not purchase a planner. I did, however, get one of the coiled notebooks with notebook paper in it. I love the size. I love the paper. And this is the, actually, I lost one last year. I had taken it with me to Houston and uh, there was a big flood and I lost some stuff uh, during that. If y'all remember that, that was catastrophic and I'm afraid that may happen again. Anyway, I replaced it finally this um, last week and got it in and I chose the layered colors um, a removable cover for it. I, it's gorgeous. So I got that in. I got a new ruler, the Erin Condren metal ruler, and it's real pretty. I want to use that now instead of this cork back one, I think. I hope. I hope so. I need to retire that one. It's getting old and yucky, but it's a favorite. So, and oh, I got some sticker books. I'll show y'all in a, a future video if y'all want to see those. 
I'm going to trim those off and even that up. And I think that made a real cute sidebar, the bottom of it anyway. I end up putting some cute little deco pieces on there too, eventually. I don't know that I did that right away. Oh, there was this cute, adorable banner that came in the kit. I put that at the very top of that section, and then later I come in and use the plants, I think. Trying to see what I'm going to do next. The headers. So again, I'm going to pull all my choices out. Double check that that's what I want to use. I know for sure I'm not going to use the blue because I have blue weekday stickers. So I am going to use the green, the pink, and the cream. The creamy yellow. I sure do love that. Those headers, the bow headers, are from Simply Watercolor Co. Yes. And they are digitals. And so you can print those out yourself. She does have a section in her shop that are digitals. And um, my friend Cindy had told me about it, and I was jumping all over that site every single day, multiple times a day. I was like, when's the, ne the next thing going to be added? So I really need her to add some more to her shop because, I mean, she probably only had two sales, Cindy and I, uh, before I had all those printed out and ready to go. They were gorgeous. I fell in love with those immediately. And I used them all the time. So anyway, I decided to stagger. Yes, stagger is the word. The uh, layout in such a way that I could also stagger the headers in the different colors instead of doing them straight across in the same color. I really love the way that turned out. And it was easy to do once I figured out the, the little rotation and was able to put those down and since I already had my my banner up there for the weekend I was able to stick those right on top and finish that all out and by the way I was talking about Erin Condren I because I did not buy a um, life planner that I had used previously in previous years uh, this year um, and I'm using the inserts that you see here. These are, by the way, from Justinia Printables. I will put that information below. Um, I, I try to do that on every single video. And so if I don't, I apologize. But I try to do that on every video. But um, again, for the Erin Condren items, I had a coupon code or points or something. And... Um, the more you purchase, the more you earn. And she also has other ways that you can earn points, which are new coupons, basically. Uh, I have a coupon code that you can use. It's down below. I pr also try to put that in all of my videos, but I don't always mention it. Um, also with Simply Gilded. If you're curious about Simply Gilded kits or tape, um, go grab that coupon code down below. And if I believe it's a first purchase only on both Erin Condren and Simply Gilded. Uh, you can use that coupon code and save a few dollars. And I also get a little coupon back if you do that. So thank you for those of you who have done that. That allows me to get some more pretties to make videos with. And I appreciate that. I'm pulling out some overlays, header overlays that I made ages ago with little tiny dots um, that I've foiled and then cut out in the shape size of a header. I'm going to put those over the green headers that came with the kit. And now all the headers have foil because we can't have too much foil, can we? And then I'm trying to decide. She has this whole group, eight stickers of one, two, three. Is that six? Yeah, I think it was six. Six heart checklists. I chose to cut them in half using my ceramic blade there. Thank, I'm so thankful for the ceramic blade. That slice tool has been a lifesaver to me. Um, I have an Amazon, what is it called? Amazon Associates, something like that. I don't remember what it's called. Site that I have down below that has all of the different items that I use for my planning. If you're curious about something, it's in that. Amazon Associates? That doesn't sound right. I can't think of it. Anyway, 
and for once I could not get that silly palette knife under that sticker. It was the one sticker that bothered me the whole time I was doing this plan, this uh, layout. Uh, I tried to remove it a second time, which you'll see later, and I couldn't get it up a second time. Finally, I just like threw my hands up, was like, it's staying right where it is, crooked and everything. So anyway, I chose to use the bottom half of each of those and put them right below a header so that it kind of looks like it's a finished sticker instead of a cut sticker. I like the way that turned out and I like the size of those. Those of you who have not been around much to my channel, I plan ahead, which means generally I don't know what I'm going to be doing for the week. Let me stop and point out those beautiful foiled boxes are also by Simply Watercolor Co. Um, a digital, and I just put them on a di different color backgrounds. Uh, the other stickers you see that are foiled, I've made myself. So anyway, um, I would go and lose my train of thought right then. Maybe I'll catch it in just a second. Nope, I forgot. I had to actually go back and re-listen to myself. I'm such a, a dork. Anyway, um, as you'll see, I'm picking up some stickers to go on each day and picking and choosing how I'm going to do it at this point. Planner style. My planner style is to do things ahead of time. I like to do it that way until I get overwhelmed or I forget or I do other things and I don't do something and then I realize well I need to do a plan for the last week or two. So anyway usually this one is a week ahead that I'm working on even though you're going to see it the week of. This is the second week of June by the way. But I prefer this style because I can just fill it in with whatever comes along and I don't always use every sticker for every day. I try to. I try to stay busy enough to do so. Uh, lately that's been kind of difficult because of how, you know, I've only had two doctor's appointments throughout all these months uh, that got a, a pretty sticker. But, you know, you can only put did the dishes so many times or take out the trash or uh, those little things that we have to do, you know, every week. So anyway, I do prefer to, to do my planning that way. I have a B6 Traveler's Notebook that I also use as my everyday carry, I guess is the way to put it, although it just kind of stays upstairs next to me. Um, I, I have a insert in it that I write everything down. Sometimes I pull it out three or four times a day and jot things down because I'm so forgetful in my old age. I'm 56 now and I have noticed that if I don't write something down, I will definitely forget to do it or remember what I did. So that's why I like to have it next to me. This particular planner, I write the important stuff down. I don't put, usually I don't write that I did the dishes in this particular planner. It's more of a what I've done craft wise, uh, the plan with me video. See, that's the part where I left the sticker crooked, sorry. But this is where I like to write down what I've made, what I've done, things like that. And yeah, doctor's appointments go in here too. I have to have a place for that too. I'm going to finish out by adding the rest of the half boxes and quarter boxes. And then I'm going to add some of the cute deco and probably overlays. I'm thinking I did overlays as well. Those little flag stickers that you see me lay down, the little tiny ones, uh, I've mentioned those, that one right there, for example. I've mentioned before that I love those. I made those a year and a half or two ago. It may be even more than that. I can't recall. I fell in love with them when I saw somebody use something like that in their planner, and I have just loved it ever since. So this last week or two, I have been a busy beaver making foiled stickers. I made those in every single color I could think of that I would use, and I foiled them in all the different colors. So what I'm going to do, I still have the pile of them sitting over there ready to be put away in my binders, my foil binders that I keep all my foiled stickers in. And if you're interested, I will film 
myself putting them away. I know that sounds silly, but I like watching people do that and organize stickers and stuff. Washi tape. I have to organize my washi tape. If y'all are interested in that, let me know and I'll do a video. Um, I don't mind doing stuff like that. Sometimes it doesn't work out, but uh, a lot of times I immediately put things up. That's like what's in a blue moon. But if you're curious and would like to see something like that, let me know and I will do that. So I have a question too that I'd like y'all to help me with. How do you keep up with your digital kits or stickers in your computer or a file of names of what you've already bought? I am finding that I almost need a spreadsheet, but I don't, I used to know how to work Excel and all that jazz, but I haven't done it in so many years. It would be too tedious for me to try to do anymore. I can't decide, of course, right now on the bottom washi tape, but I did finally go with the pink. There wasn't enough pink in this kit, so I added some. But how do y'all do your digital kits? How do you keep up with it? I find myself in one area of the house, upstairs, generally in my chair, shopping on Etsy, looking at sticker kits. And yet I have the notebook. I keep a notebook now since... Oh, for, uh, it was last fall when the flood ruined my previous notebook. Uh, I just copied and, and printed out all of the screenshots of all of the different files where I keep all of my digitals. Does that make sense? And I have this ugly three ring notebook full of copies of a printed out file on the computer and I'm not happy with it I don't like it but at least I have everything written down somewhere I don't have to cut on my computer and go dig up the files or the store name you know so if y'all have a better way especially I'd like to do it on my phone somehow where I can just keep it handy all the time and add to it as I need somebody mentioned that on Etsy you can go to the shop and click on items that you've bought from the shop well mine doesn't work that way i have tried that a thousand times i cannot get that to work which is infuriating because i have bought multiple kits digital kits before so if y'all have ideas and can help me with that i would appreciate it as you can see i'm laying down the overlays and things that i'm adding these cute little uh angles I guess we'll call them it's just a square a square box that I cut and kept the corners and foiled so that I could use them as elements uh, for an overlay on a full box or any other box for that matter so those I made the rest of these that you see are from sincerely d designs the overlays that are digital you can print them out and foil them in any color foil that you have so I'm pulling a whole bunch of those out and adding that to the full boxes they turn out really cute I think the kit because it was not a foil ready kit I I wanted to go ahead and try it because I knew I had enough overlays left over which I need to make some more but um, I knew I had enough of the overlays that it would turn out really cute and I like the way that it, it worked I'm going to finish the last box with some more of those little angles or corners. I guess corners. We'll call them corners. Those actually are pretty handy. I liked having those. And then, again, from Sincerely D Designs, I'm going to pick the bottom washi overlays. These are a confetti. Um, I ended up choosing a different one, actually. She has a lot of different ones in her shop, and I took the time to to pull a bunch of them and print and foil them over probably about a week. It took me a little while to get those done when I did it. And I see that on some of my foil colors, I'm needing some extras because I'm almost running out of, I think, holographic. I'm almost out. But these are um, Mary 
I think was the name of these. Uh, she has different ones, so you can look around and see which ones you like. And I also uh, just recently did some others that she had and printed those out and foiled along with those little flags. So those I need to put away. I made, oh, well, maybe those are the ones that are called Mary. I can't recall. Don't quote me on that because I don't remember. And once I finish with the bottom washi and pick that last little slice off, that was harder to do than it looks. Well, actually it does look kind of hard, but it took me a little while to get that off. Anyway, got that last sliver of that off. Move everything away and I'm gonna try a Viv wiggle. I'm gonna slow it down when I get there though. I realized just now that I still have some more stickers I'm going to lay down. So these are the little bow clips that came with the kit. And then she has some deco. I decided to pull some of the deco out and go ahead and use that. The bows I just added here and there. Just kind of scattered them around. And again, if y'all know me, you know I love those little floppy bows with the clips on them. I think those are the cutest stickers ever. Pull one more bow out that she has in the kit and I'll just stick it right there. And because I don't know what I'm doing next, I'm going to have to wait and see because I'm watching this along with y'all. Okay, deco time. There are two little shelves that are right next to each other on that. And I don't think my machine cut all the way around both of those. So I had to snip that real quick. I put one of the shelves on the sidebar in the washi area at the bottom there. And I did eventually put the other one at the top. At the very bottom where the washi banner is, I put some of the little potted plants that... <laughs> I can't hardly say that. Sorry, plants. Uh, they are adorable. And the pots on those match that striped washi. It was so fun to be able to have matching things. Here's that second little shelf. I'll put it at the top washi above the days of the week checklist. Here's the Viv Wiggle. I knew I did one. Look at all that gorgeous gold foil. This kit would be so cute in any foil color. Gold, silver. I think especially it would look nice with hollow. But I tried not to use hollow this week. So I'm going to put those back in my notebook. And my Aura Estelle. I always snip the holes so that I don't have to open the rings. I don't know if that's a cheap method or not. If that's considered that or not. But I like to do it that way. Put my three glitter bees bow clip up there hearts by emma dangle clip over to the left and the pin gems so which one did i end up with can y'all make a wild guess look how good they look that cream color matched perfectly the blue matched perfectly but the pink i thought was a little too bright so i did not use the pink It was pretty, but it didn't. That wasn't the one I chose. I chose the blue. So as we end up, show you another. I tried to do another wiggle. It didn't work out so great, but that's the finished product. I appreciate y'all watching. I appreciate y'all taking the time to chat with me and leave me a comment or a thumbs up or whatever y'all want to do. I appreciate that y'all have invested your time watching me on my channel. And thank you for that. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you are having a good week, a safe week, that y'all are staying healthy, happy, and that things are peaceful for you where you are. I know they are here for me right now, and I'm very thankful and blessed for those things. I hope y'all have an awesome week next week. Y'all take care, and let me know what y'all want to see me do next. Um... If y'all want me to just do the plan with me's, I'll do those. If you want to see washi tape, I'll do that. And if you want to see uh, foiled stickers get put in binders, I'll do that. 
who knows i might end up just doing all of it anyway y'all take care i appreciate y'all bye bye